Following up from yesterday's video where I put this thing under the hue saturation slider. If you want to see that video, it'll be up in the cards. But welcome back to Sprocket. I hope you're enjoying the videos. Um, the channel seems to be doing really well with Sprocket at the moment. Hopefully you're not getting too bored. I'm trying to keep it going. As much as it is hard to be creative about this game, this game is so much fun at the same time. What I've done here is I've ripped this Centurion from the game, removed the turret, put on a similar gun, and put Commanders Cabolas everywhere. And yep, that is about as bright as I'm going to leave it, because who doesn't love a red tank? It's uh, pretty good. Now, I've had to adjust a couple of things, uh, and we're basically ready to go. So we're going to take down some matches here, or at least a single match. This one is Fields, it's Scenario, and there are multiple vehicles here. Um, and essentially, we're just going to be driving around. One of the things I like about this game... Oh, they've already killed one of the uh, AI already. Uh, to a splatter, whatever that is. There, There is quite a lot of vehicles that come at you from a certain uh, point. What are you oh, and they're dead already. Oh, this is annoying. I didn't want the Centurions to take over this mission. I wanted to do a little shooting myself. Oh, we nearly took a shot there. Where is he? Where is he? Also, thank you very much for 45,000 subscribers. You guys are bloody awesome. Oh, we finally reached that deadline. All right, let's see if we can get that uh, uh, angle. Great. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> we completely and utterly missed. I think this one's already dead. Just double check. And... We're already killing King Tigers. I think that one's dead. Let's put another shell that, that direction just to make sure. Wait for the reload. It isn't too long. This game's suspension mechanics is probably the worst that I have seen. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's already dead. Okay, what else have we got? Why are they firing off? They shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. That's okay. In an AI battle, that, that doesn't necessarily matter. But we're on a green field and we stick out like a Christmas tree. In fact, I think we're pretty much Santa Claus's sleigh at this point in time. Uh, but I really enjoy the funny aspects and the weird aspects to how this game works. It is a little annoying, and I could move the driver's sight up a bit. But everything else here just seems to just work. It's very, very mobile, as you can see. I think 48, 46 kilometers an hour. RPM is quite high. Again, all I've had to do was rip the Centurion, which is a default blueprint, and then change up the size of the hull and then basically angle it up and put some armor on top haven't had to change the anything really it's quite an easy build that's kind of why i like casemate tank destroyers because they are an all-in-one vehicle he's already dead isn't he he's not moving okay the ai is still killing things <laughs> look there's one ammo rack on that dude and i know there's multiplayer coming to this game soon in fact the roadmap is quite interesting uh where are we to give you to give you an idea, the roadmap is incredibly interesting. We have uh, multi-vehicle parts, turrets, structures, custom decals and camos, multiple cannons, multiple battles, custom battles, round turrets, uh, vehicle and resource management, pike nose hulls, shell designer, quad tracks, you know, dedicated mod support, and obviously a Steam Workshop, uh, open turrets and hulls and oscillating turrets, multiplayer in Quarter 3 of 2022 with wheels, auto cannons, functioning machine guns, AI aircraft. Well, that would be fun. Uh, and in 2023, improved uh, design visualizations. And obviously, in quarter 2 of 2023, Steam achievements and final polish. And hopefully, that gets to full release. Now, we'll put one into this guy. There we go. Beautiful. Right, that one's dead. So this game has a lot of promise, and I hope you've been enjoying the videos. I've been enjoying them thoroughly. He's dead as well. Okay, let's go. This direction. All right, forward we go. <laughs> this thing is such a meme machine. Something about building casemate tank destroyers in this game is just utterly fantastic. He's dead. Is there any other ones alive? Are you alive? No, you're not alive either. How the hell did the AI manage to see that? They had to be cheating. You know, I really want to get up and close and do some shooty shooty shooty, but uh, fortunately, that's not the case. Hang on. Oh, you're all dead. You're not moving. Again, I'm not sure where the remainder of the AIs are. Where are you guys? Hello? <laughs> I want to actually do something in this mission. I've killed one vehicle with my AIs have done all the work. Anyway, 44Ks an hour. This thing shouldn't be too slow around the, this typical terrain. Right, I'm going to 
put a shell into you. No, you're absolutely dead. Doesn't matter. Hmm. There's a telemetry button. Wonder what all this data means here. Oh, it's my RPMs and all my engines. Is he moving? I can't angle my gun up for some reason. Oh, okay. Right, there is a limitation to the design here. Sometimes the gun won't elevate. What have we got here? Oh, there it goes. Ah, so it's a king tiger that also happens to look like a panther. That is definitely dead. Oh, there's someone down there. Look. Wow. Fascinating. I love the look of this game, at least. You, you gotta... Yes. Bounce. Ready? Who's next? You gonna bounce again? Three, two, one. You missed. No, did you even fire? I don't think you did. Ah, you missed again. All right, ramming speed! Oh. Oh, kids, look away! <laughs> look away, kids! Um... Centurion tank and this light tank must uh, procreate in order to create the Vickers light tank program. Oh, we got off. Yes. Are you going to shoot me again? Because I'm about to shoot you, mate. Did I crash his crew or something? What are the damage? Oh, aim the gun up, please. Uh, any year now? It'll be 2023 by the time this gun gets up. There we go. Victory. Would you look at that? How much fun. Now, in the next episode, we're going to be taking a look at some custom user designs, and we're going to be scrolling through the Sprocket Discord, and we're basically going to see what kind of cursed vehicles we can come up with. So, stay tuned for that. That was going to be a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, special thanks to everyone, my Patreon supporters particularly. Hope you're enjoying the Sprocket videos. My name is Ash. Catch you next one.